What's going on world? It's man St. Uno back again for another one. And in today's video, we are going to talk about why you may feel stuck. Eee, why you feel stuck in repeating the same patterns over and over and over again, or you feel like you're not, you know what I'm saying, really evolving as fast or as well as you should be in this life, which is, you know what I'm saying, more or less what we're meant to do. And, um, you know what I'm saying, I like to be as transparent as possible. And um, when I'm on these videos, and let you know that it's not like what I'm teaching or doing whatever I'm doing. It's like, it's not from a perspective of like, oh, here's the knowledge for the underlings. It's like this be stuff that I be experiencing in my actual real life. And a lot of times I be talking to myself. It's like, hey, like, this is why you're experiencing blockages. This is why you may be experiencing feeling stuck. And um, you know what I'm saying? When I can kind of wrap my head around the concept or why. You know what I'm saying certain things or start to notice the patterns that lead to me, you know what I'm saying, experiencing these blockages or feeling stuck or whatever, or whatever the video may be about, you know what I'm saying, is that's what leads to me sharing with other people in case you are going through the same thing. And we can all each one teach one, learn and grow and develop together. But um the main thing to always remember is that um it's all like it's like knowing something and then actually practice practicing something. It's like two whole different things. Like that saying, if you knew better, you do better. I don't, I don't believe that at all. It's like we be knowing better a lot of the times, but like doing better requires you to actually do stuff. You may know something intellectually, logically. You may understand certain concepts, but when it, times to, when it comes time to actually implement these into life, Shit can get spooky, you know what I'm saying? Old ha habits and traumas and patterns may start to play out, you know what I'm saying? When you know you should be doing, you can get in like to this, it's like you're in the sunken place, right? Where it's like you, you get kicked out of the control seat of your body and you see yourself, you're like, all right, I know this is what I'm supposed to do, but for whatever reason, be it fear, you know what I'm saying? Insecurity, lack of confidence, whatever it is, you just remain frozen and you remain stuck and you don't actually act on the thing that you know better supposed to be acting on. And it's like, damn, it's a very, um, it's a very, uh, it's something I struggle with, you know what I'm saying? But no more. I ain't, I ain't gonna put that out there. I don't, I'm making this video to help you as well as myself. So we ain't got to deal with that no more because it's 2023. It's time to separate. It's a seven year. We got to separate from old habits and old, you know what I'm saying? Things that don't necessarily serve our higher purpose, us being, so we're in the seven, the, uh, the, the, the angel aspect of the, of the number seven where we're, you know what I'm saying, looking down on ourselves and we're like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, I'm using this like a bitch, not like in the inverted seven when you're in your demonic natures and you're like, oh no, I'm under control by all these human traumas and human uh, feelings and emotions and ah, and you just end up acting demonic, you know what I'm saying, playing out um, situations of being in hell, which is any situation that you repeat over and over and over and over again. That's a holistic nature. So you don't want to be on the inverted seven. You want to be in the higher angle seven where you're saying, no, I'm controlling this human flesh vessel. I don't get controlled by it. You know what I'm saying? So um, the reason why you may feel stuck is because um, you may be avoiding friction, right? So when we think about light, emitting our own light, right? Um, or just like the physical, oh, I wanted to get like a, it's cool, I don't need the actual lighter. If you think about a lighter, right, you gotta flick, you gotta flick the whatever, the Flintstone, you gotta flick a lighter, cause that friction for it to combust and produce a flame. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna start a fire in the woods, which I've never done, I'm not a Boy Scout, but you know what I'm saying, when you see them do it on TV and stuff like that, if you wanna start a fire, you gotta rub those logs together, create that friction. You know what I'm saying? Even inside a light bulb, um, the electric current goes through the, the filament or whatever, and it creates friction. So this lets us know that whenever we're creating light, friction is required. And this isn't only speaking about the physical um, manifestation of light. This is, um, this is metaphysical as well. So when you're an individual who doesn't spark your own light, you're dull and you're not able to inspire and manifest and attract and, you know what I'm saying, kind of navigate be a shining light, be a beacon of light, be an inspiration to other people um, in this world because your light is very dull. You're not sparking your own light. And the reason why you're not sparking your own light is because you are afraid of friction. 
and friction, it comes in many forms. It comes in the form of um, wanting to stay in your comfort zone. It comes in the form of avoiding conflict that is necessary. It comes in the form of people pleasing and always putting your other people first to, as to not cause too much friction between people. Um, you know what I'm saying? Doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different results because putting implementing those new actions, doing better is too scary or too intimidating to you and you feel like you actually can't do these things. All these um, ways, all these things are ways that we avoid friction in our life. And even with um, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote, uh, new age spirituality online and things of that nature, there's a lot of people who may uh, use certain buzzwords and phrases like, oh, like I'm an empath or, you know what I'm saying, if it's the people, um, I'm, I'm getting away from low vibrational people or if it's not serving me, it's not for me, all these things that sound good in theory, but what they are actually are just basically ways for people to avoid friction in life, you know what I'm saying, and not to say that there's not any truth in any of this, like of course, you know what I'm saying, you got to create boundaries and things like that. But for the most part, teamwork makes the dream work and friction is necessary when we're talking about dealing with people in the world. Like there's, you're not, you're not going to have a really bright shining light if you're only in isolation. You know what I'm saying? You got to be bumping, you know what I'm saying? With other people's minds, other people physically, you got to be out interacting with the world. The more people you're interacting with, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's positive or negative, but especially negative because that's when we get the friction, right? That's what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But now you're actually out in the world and you, this is like, this is the real Star Wars. It's like, all right, this is my mentality, my star. I'm putting it out to the world and I'm fighting and banging against other people. And I'm so confident in that, that I'm not going to let other people kind of diminish me and be afraid to, to shine my star. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, put my mentality out there because it makes other people feel weird or I know other people are going to disagree with it. No, these are all necessary energies you need to go through in order to create the friction to really spark your light. So a lot of times avoiding the conflict, avoiding the uncomfortable situations, avoiding, you know what I'm saying, the discomfort. And I got like, um, you know what I'm saying, my Mercury's cancer, my moon cancer, and my sun cusp cancer, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, cancer is all about the comfort zone and creating comfortability, which is good for certain things in terms of like nurturing and like family and, you know what I'm saying? creating safe spaces when it's time to rest, which is all necessary. But I myself can get maybe too indulged into these energies where I'm always um, trying to make myself comfortable and also make others comfortable and avoid a lot of friction. You know what I'm saying? Mars falls in Cancer. So Mars is the war planet all about, you know what I'm saying, going to war and, you know what I'm saying, let's go. Like we, they, we want to smoke, you know what I'm saying? So they hop into the friction. Um, which, you know what I'm saying, makes them more, you know what I'm saying, like when they talk about like a leader or, and stuff like that, it's because of that. It's like someone who can kind of hold their own out amongst others and not really give a F about how it's going to make them feel, you know what I'm saying? And there's a time and place for every energy. It's not good or bad, but this is just me, you know what I'm saying, letting you know uh, one of the things that I had to deal with. And even if you're not a cancer or anything like that, it's, it's not always like that. Um, there's many instances of people who just, you know what I'm saying, whether they're introverts or, you know what I'm saying, they got a lot of insecurities and traumas. There's lots of uh, different reasons why, you, reasons why you may be avoiding friction in life. But just remembering this allegory will help you kick you out of the sunken place the next time you're in a position where it's like, oh man, I really want to say this is on my mind, but I'm afraid of this. Or, oh, I really don't want to do this, but I don't want to rub someone the wrong way. Think about the allegory of the friction, the lighter, boom, the wood rubbing together, you know what I'm saying? Start the fire, the electricity vibrating the filament, you know what I'm saying? Use that friction. If you don't cause that friction, you're never going to be in a, uh, in, a, in a situation where you can um, have enough juice to spark your own light and be an inspiration. Um, and not even just be an inspiration, but just to be um, fulfilled and to really uh, be, have your own light because when you don't shine your own light, you have to follow another person's life, light, well, life too. So this leaves you always having to do things you don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Working jobs you don't want to do, um, being in relationships, romantic or otherwise, that you don't really want to be a part of because you didn't have the courage, the gumption, the oomph, you know what I'm saying, to go and cause that friction, which is necessary to produce energy. And all we're talking about is energy, right? You know what I'm saying? People always want to say, oh, Everything is energy. You know what I'm saying? Well, if everything is energy, you got to look at how energy is produced. 
there is no energy being produced without friction. And the metaphysical friction is, like I said, the Star Wars, bumping minds, disagreeing, getting out to the world, interacting with people, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Giving people to smoke when it's necessary and stuff like that. And basically just, you know what I'm saying? Fighting fire with fire sometimes. And not always, and understanding that spirituality is not a means to avoid that friction and to make you feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? It's more so a means to give you the confidence and the courage to go through that friction, but not let it destroy you, not be in a place where, oh, you get into an argument with people and it just ruins your day or ruins your life or gives you all this unnecessary trauma or baggage. No, you should be able to go through these things and, you know what I'm saying, rub them off and then, you know what I'm saying, wake up the next day and, and do it all over again, really getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's something that a lot of, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote, successful people will tell you, even when you think about like rags to rich to stories and things like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, people oftentimes when they come from harsher backgrounds where they were, they couldn't avoid fr friction because everything in their environment was friction and stuff like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's a gift and a curse to everything. It might've been chaotic. It might've been, you know what I'm saying? Uncomfortable as a childhood and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? Growing up, that kind of gave them the necessary tools to always spark their own light and to always be in a position where it's like, I ain't got to you know what I'm saying? You don't have to walk around on eggshells or walk around in fear all the time because, you know what I'm saying, going to battle and causing friction is just a, what you, you know, it's like second nature at this point. So you may be an individual who, um, you know what I'm saying, who hasn't had to deal with as much friction, which may have been good in the time being. You, you know what I'm saying? When you were growing up, it was cool getting in while it was good. Everything was comfortable. But then when it comes to a point in your life where you want to elevate or be more of a just kind of evolve and get more into your life purpose, um, you may feel stuck or hindered. And a lot of the times, the reason why you feel this way is the way that you avoid friction. So, um, like I said, it's not just enough to know this because I know this, but I am saying, but, um, but yeah, at times you, you got to do it, right? So it's not just knowing it, it's doing it, but at least, you know what I'm saying? Like they say, the, uh, first uh, was it the first part of acknowledging a first part of fixing a problem is to admit that you got one, right? Um, you know what I'm saying? The first part to actually walking the walk is to understand that, okay, this is something that I need to do. So now when you, cause otherwise, if you just let it go unchecked, you may not even understand like, Oh, why you may be thinking that's a good thing to always, you know what I'm saying? Be uncomfortable and be in your safe space and all this kind of stuff and not rub people the wrong way and golden rule and treat everyone with respect and yada, 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 dee, 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 da. But, um, if you're doing these things and you're experiencing blockages and you're feeling stuck, this very well may be a reason as to why. So now at least, like I said, I can't do it for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you still gotta do it yourself, but at least now you have the tool to call that thing a thing and be like, oh, okay, this is, this is what, this is what, you know what I'm saying? St. Una was talking about in that video. Am I going to just ignore it and know better, but not do better? Or now that I know better, actually do better. You know what I'm saying? And I think you will. I think I will. I think we're all on the right path. And also it's important to not be too hard on yourself too, because we all have, like I said, there's a gift and a curse to everything. So I'm saying we all have different strengths and weaknesses and we're all on a different part in our journey. So you, you really do yourself a disservice when you may fall short in certain areas, but you beat yourself up about it. So it's like, you gotta have balance, right? You don't want it cause we'll get into like this self masochistic, oh, I ain't shit, I'm terrible, I ain't nothing. I'm terrible, I'm weak. And you'll just kind of beat yourself up because you know that you're supposed to be doing a certain thing, but you may not actually be doing it. Yeah, but that's okay. Like nobody's perfect. And we all got, you know what I'm saying? We all got to fight this uphill battle called life. So this is not to say that, oh, you need to beat yourself up about these things per se. But at the same time, on that balance scale, don't just ignore it and be like, well, this is just who I am. This is just the way I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's for that person, but I can't really do that. No, you can do anything, you know what I'm saying? Other people may have different strengths, but they also have different weaknesses than, than you. So everybody has something that they're dealing with. Don't beat yourself up too much about it because that's not gonna help. Um, be gentle with yourself, but also be stern. You gotta be gentle and stern, you know what I'm saying? There's day and there's night, you know what I'm saying? There's there's being awake and there's being asleep, you know what I'm saying? There's always everything in life. 
inhale, exhale. There's a time and a place for everything. So it's not just to always be hard on yourself and, oh, you, you, ain't, you ain't doing this right, you ain't doing that right. No, no, no. Acknowledge the problem, but also be gentle with yourself, but also be stern with yourself. And I have the confidence that you can do it, and we will climb this mountain called life together. Thank y'all for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.